I'm at CES in Las Vegas talking to David Velasquez, who runs the Gorilla Glass Group at Corning Marketing. Yep. And he's going to tell us about the new version of Gorilla Glass that was just announced and what makes it different from the prior generation, which was just released last year. Hey, great, thanks Connie. So, uh, yeah, as you know, last year we launched our second generation of Gorilla Glass, Gorilla Glass 2. And the whole concept behind that product is that we reduce the thickness of the glass by 20% without sacrificing performance. We, allow, uh, we announced this last November that over one billion devices have been sold since we launched Gorilla originally in 2007. But we're never happy. We already have the best glass on the market. We wanted to go back to the fundamental chemistry of the glass and see what we could do to improve it even further. And so we took a look at the actual bonds between the atoms and the ions in the glass and see how we could manipulate and modify their behavior to result in a better product. And what yielded was something called native damage resistance. So what that does, what that actually does is when a glass is subject to a force, right, causing a scratch, um, the way the glass reacts to that force on today's traditional competitive glasses, the glass, the scratch tends to cause these little lateral cracks, making really thin wispy scratches look really deep and nasty, right? So, and which, when you're looking at your device, no one wants to see a big scratch on it. So we've actually improved the amount of force, so three times the force required to actually cause those kind of deep scratches. So as a result, now we've reduced the visibility of the scratches and the incidences of these really deep, nasty looking scratches by 40%. And also, we've improved the retained strength of the glass once it's been scratched by over 40%. So that even after the scratch happens, it's more survivable. So what you told me is that it's able to absorb the scratch better to prevent it from cracking more easily, basically. Right, exactly. So I know that Gorilla Glass is used extensively in smartphones, many popular brands, in tablets. Talk about the next market of opportunities here. Right, so after phones and tablets, we see our next wave of opportunities being touch on notebooks. So a lot of market activity, a lot of development, a lot of innovation in the market to try to extend the breadth of touch from tablets, our cell phones, into notebook computers. And that opportunity is very large for us. And you talked about getting Gorilla Glass 3 in production starting in the second quarter, I believe, of this yep, year. No, we expect to be in production volumes by the end of Q1. Uh, we would expect to be into consumer devices by the end of Q2. And we're planning on converting all of Gorilla Glass 2 to Gorilla Glass 3 by the end of the year. OK, last question, and that is, you're trying to make, or have been trying to make, Gorilla Glass a household name. You want people to go in and buy devices and say, I want the one with Gorilla Glass, right? Absolutely. Uh, we're very proud of what we've done. We spend a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of scientists' blood, sweat, and tears on developing these great products. Uh, we're trying to get consumers to understand how much better our product is than the alternatives. And we want them to consider uh, us as the standard. And without the Gorilla Glass on it, is it really a great phone? That's what we want them to think.